Welcome to Linux Quest and another episode of Cool Linux Tools. I want to start out by wishing you all Merry Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. Looking forward to 2017. So uh, I don't know if all of you are aware or not, but myself and uh, Rocco from the Big Daddy YouTube channel have started a podcast called Destination Linux. We recently posted episode one and we plan on doing weekly podcast releases. So that got me thinking, what options do we have uh, on the Linux desktop for a podcast app? Now, I've got a great podcast app called Pocket Cast that I've been using uh, for a number of years on my Android device and uh, really like the control there. And I listen to a lot of podcasts as I travel. And um, anyway, so I was looking for something similar to, you know, Pocket Cast for the Linux desktop. So, what I've got to share for you today is an app called Vocal, and it's 97% of the way there for me as far as what I was looking for in a podcast app. So I just want to share this with you. I think that if you're like me and you enjoy uh, podcast, I think this will, for the most part, serve you very well. So let's jump into a few things, but before I get into the details and controls and preferences, I'll just go ahead and throw out to you the one thing this is missing that for me would make it an almost perfect podcast app is it does not have a search feature. So you cannot go in, do a search by podcast name, and then pull in the podcast that way. There are two ways that you can add your podcast. So we're going to jump around just a little bit. So you've got your controls up top here. This is the main screen that you will see once you launch into Vocal. Now you'll notice it's very clean and in interface, the aesthetics and everything's clean and simple design, and that makes sense because Vocal is developed by the same team who developed Elementary OS, and those guys have a knack for clean look, clean aesthetics, and simple design. So all of that makes sense here as you see this. Now Let's jump back over here. If you want to add a podcast, you've got two options. You can add the podcast feed. So if you have the RSS feed for your particular podcast, very simple, paste that in and click Add Podcast. Now the other way that you can add that is by importing a subscription. So you can import your iTunes or Gpotter uh, subscription. Uh, you can create a text file from iTunes of your subscriptions as well as Gpotter. And uh, once you have those, you can simply import those. Or you can import a previous backup that you've made from inside of Vocal. So they do give you multiple ways to get your podcast in. For me, I'll probably go in and uh, just add a couple of RSS feeds from some of my favorites and do it that way. And then I'll make a backup. So, all right, let's start at the uh, controls up here. So at the left... Once you have selected your podcast, you'll see a window that pops up here on the right. You'll see information like the show notes. And then you've got some options here, and I'll go through those in just a minute. You can close that window out here. We'll select that and open that up. So once you have this open and you have the podcast selected, you could go up to your controls. You've got rewind, and right now it's defaulted to 30 seconds, and you can change that. We'll do that in preferences. You've got play, and then you've got fast forward. You've got your progress bar here with a description of the particular episode that you're uh, listening to. Now, my understanding is, is that you can also import um, video podcast to this as well. So that's another nice feature. Uh, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Miro, but I believe the development for Miro has, has ended. So I'm really happy to find this. All right, your uh, other items here, you've got uh, show notes. So that's duplicate with what you see here. Uh, you've got an option here to check for new episodes. And you, we've already gone over this. You uh, would add your podcast here. And now you've got a hamburger menu, and that gives you a few options and preferences. So here's your option to export your subscriptions. So you can back that up for safekeeping. We'll jump into preferences here. Not a, not a lot to do here in preferences. You've got an option to automatically download new episodes. You've got an option here to delete played files, and then this is where you can go in and adjust your fast forward and rewind. Again, it's defaulted to 30 seconds, and that's it for preferences. Now, um, one thing that I noticed here is that I went to check out the vocal starter pack, and I uh, get a 404 page there, but I am pretty positive that this 
app is still under full development so uh, it just may be that they're missing a page there and you know again I'm 97 percent of the of the way there with this just being a phenomenal podcast app for me if I had the ability to go in and search for podcast it would make it clearly a, um, a number one choice for me but this is an app I'm going to definitely um, consider donating to I just think that the elementary OS team has a knack for aesthetics and putting together a nice simple interface and giving you the right amount of control uh, once you've selected a episode you've got some other options that will pop up here at the bottom so here you've got an option to mark all episodes as played you can download all episodes and then you have an option to hide the episodes that have already been played. You've got one other small hamburger menu here, and you've only got one option, and that's to remove the podcast from the library. So overall, very pleased that I found this, very happy that I found this. Uh, look forward to more development from the Elementary OS team on this. If you're into podcasts, definitely check out Vocal. And again, here under their hamburger menu, they've got a donate section. And that launches into a 404 as well. Uh, so maybe that's something they need to work on. But nevertheless, I hope that the uh, development continues on this. So I want to support these guys. Uh, keep up the great work. And uh, that's it for now. Just wanted to share this. Hope you enjoy it. Be safe out there. And thanks for watching. And we will check you later.